What the mainstream media is doing right now is the definition of gaslighting. Viva Fry, Montreal litigator turned YouTuber, and this is Winnie the Westie getting ready for his afternoon nap. And now that the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict is in and he has been acquitted on all charges, the mainstream media has gone into full panic mode as to how to explain away how wrong they were, how wrong the representations they have made to their audience have been over the last 14 months. And what better way to cover up your absolutely irresponsible, dishonest, malicious, and egregiously over-the-top misrepresentation of the facts? Just pretend. And you've been reporting them accurately from the beginning. Yesterday, I saw an interview of one David French on Brian Stetler's Reliable Sources, and I've got to say, watching it, I felt like I was going crazy because they were literally saying that they had been doing that which they had not been doing from the very beginning, and I came to realize that this is literally the actual definition of gaslighting. Now, before I get into the definition and the etymology of the term gaslighting, I need to show you a 30-second clip because you will watch this, and you will say, I too think I am going crazy. What do you think is the takeaway uh, when it comes to the Rittenhouse verdict and the media? Parts of the media dropped the ball on covering this case from the start. Right from the start, there were a couple of things that were pretty immediately obvious. One was we knew what Wisconsin self-defense law was, and the other one was there was a lot of video evidence out there in the public domain. And what the video evidence showed was that Rittenhouse was being chased. He was knocked to the ground. He was attacked before he fired fatal shots. For those of you who may not live on social media and might not know who David French is he is an attorney and his Twitter bio reads as follows David French blue check mark at David a French senior editor at the dispatch contributing writer at the Atlantic co-host advisory opinions and good faith podcast Iraq vet married to at Nancy a French and now attorney David a French goes on Brian Stetler's reliable sources and can we think of a more ironic paradoxical and inappropriate name for anything that comes out of Brian Stetler's mouth than reliable sources he goes on reliable sources to say no we have been saying this all along that Kyle Rittenhouse had a great defense and I'm sitting there saying no you haven't been saying this from the beginning you have been saying the exact opposite I begin literally questioning my own sanity my own memory and this brings us into the definition of the term gaslighting gaslighting from Wikipedia the free encyclopedia gaslighting is a colloquialism that is loosely defined as quote making someone question their own reality end quote the term may also be used to describe a person quote gaslighter end quote who effectively puts forth a false narrative that leads leads another person or a group of people to doubt their own perceptions and become disoriented or distressed. This dynamic is generally only possible when the audience is vulnerable, such as in unequal power relationships or when the audience is fearful of the losses associated with challenging the false narrative. Gaslighting is not necessarily malicious or intentional, although in some cases it is. Brian Stetler, Oliver Darcy, CNN, Rachel Maddow, MSNBC. You are malicious gaslighters. And then just a bit on the etymology of the term because it's actually quite interesting for anybody who is not actually familiar with where this term came from. The term is derived from the 1944 film Gaslight, which is a story about a husband who uses trickery to convince his wife that she is insane in order to steal from her. Gaslight, gaslighting was largely an obscure or esoteric term until more recently when it broadly seeped into English lexicon. According to the American Psychological Association, the term, quote, once referred to manipulation so extreme as to induce mental illness or to justify commitment of the gaslighted person to a psychiatric institution, but is now used more generally, end quote. The term is now simply defined as to make someone question their reality. So when I hear attorney David A. French go on Brian Stetler's reliable sources and affirm to the general public that they have been saying from the very beginning that this was likely a case of self-defense, I begin to question my own reality, and luckily there is something called the internet, which is forever. From The New Yorker, a reporter at large, July 5, 2021 issue, Kyle Rittenhouse, American vigilante. After he killed two people in Kenosha, opportunity turned his case into a polarizing spectacle by Paige Williams, June 28, 2021. From The Guardian, vigilante, volunteer, how the U.S. media covers Kyle Rittenhouse. Chicago Sun-Times, man shot by Kyle Rittenhouse, says police enabled armed militia. Gage Grosskreutz, federal lawsuit, says police allowed the militia to patrol Kenosha streets with their guns after curfew. October 15, 2021. These examples are but a drop in the ocean of the media misrepresentation of the events of that evening and everything that followed. And after seeing these examples, knowing it was the rule and not the exception, you have Brian Stetler out here asking, how did people misunderstand the situation so much? Now, some of you out there might be saying, Viva, you're being disingenuous. You know darn well all of the examples you just cited were not from CNN, so it sort of makes sense that Brian Stetler can now be asking this question. All right, let's look at some of the reporting from CNN from the time. 
How much of this is about slogans that were attached early on, like the slogan about crossing state lines? Cross the state line. He crossed state lines. Cross state lines. Came across state lines. From CNN, blue check mark at CNN, August 27, 2020. Quote, if we don't get a handle on this, you're going to see it again, end quote, says CNN law enforcement analyst Charles Ramsey of violence in Kenosha. Quote, if you have armed people on the side of the demonstrators versus people that are counter demonstrators or vigilantes, it's a bad situation, end quote. Quote, he just justified murder, end quote. Fox News host Tucker Carlson suggested it was not surprising that a teenager arrested in connection to a shooting allegedly took up arms and tried to, quote, maintain order, end quote, during protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Facebook failed to take action against a self-styled militia group that was using the platform to encourage armed citizens to take to the streets of Kenosha, Wisconsin on Tuesday night, despite at least one user reporting the group to the company. Anthony Huber, 26, was among the victims killed in the shooting at the protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin. His girlfriend says he launched at the armed individual to protect her and the people nearby. Quote, he did a heroic thing, end quote, she said. Sole survivor of Kenosha protests shootings speaks out for first time. Only one of the three men shot during a night of protests in Kenosha last month survived, and he's still reliving it every day. Very interesting framing by CNN of the events of that evening. They are portraying Grosskreutz as the sole survivor of the shooting of that evening. This is September 11, 2020. It was well known to the entire world who was paying attention that Grosskreutz, when he was shot, had a gun in his hand. CNN, who is now feigning faux outrage as to how the media got it so wrong, themselves failed or neglected to mention that key fact when they portrayed Grosskreutz as the sole survivor victim of the shootings of that evening. You know, and how much this is about information that didn't come out right away, that only came out at trial, that then changed the picture. You know, I think trial fleshed it out, but... Okay. Now, I do my best to avoid arguing intentions because more often than not, it's impossible to prove someone's intentions and ultimately it really doesn't change the outcome, what the intentions were. But I am going to say right here that this is the most disingenuous question and the most disingenuous affirmation coming from Settler. Okay, affirm what I just said so I can wash my hands of responsibility. Very few new facts came out at trial that were not already known or ought to have been known to the media. And in fairness to the New York Times, despite all their foibles, they did a relatively detailed expose which clearly demonstrated the fact that this was clear-cut self-defense but the mainstream media as a whole just didn't care about that there was an all there were an awful lot of people who knew the contours of the defense early on the videos mm. were out there early on and i think there were media outlets who just did a disservice by not noting that Rittenhouse was running away. This is somebody not who is not aggressively approaching people. He was running away. Hmm. And are, even under Wisconsin self-defense law, there's some sort there's some modified versions of a duty to retreat, but some, he was being pursued by that first the first person he shot very aggressively. And so these kinds of things were not amplified enough. And you want to talk about absolutely disgusting, disingenuous dishonesty here when they're talking about media doing a disservice, the media who did not report accurately on the facts. Notice how they focus on Fox News in the backdrop. There were media outlets who just did a disservice. When, for all their foibles, Fox News was the only one reporting that this was clear-cut self-defense from the beginning. But attorney David A. French goes on Brian Stetler's reliable sources to talk about an irresponsible media and they are flashing Fox News in the background. This is so disingenuous. This is so dishonest. I don't know how CNN is still in business. And if you knew Wisconsin self-defense law and you knew sort of the rules around open carry, then you knew he was going to have a strong defense. And honestly, it was pretty apparent from the beginning that he had a strong defense. Now, I know there are some of you out there right now saying, Viva, you are again being disingenuous. Okay, fine, Brian Stedler is the worst. CNN is the worst. Mainstream media is the worst. But attorney David A. French, he is just telling the truth now. He is just telling it like it is. Well, let's go see what he had to say at the time. David French, blue check mark at David A. French, September 6, 2020. There is a difference between, quote, can and quote, end quote, should, end quote. Too many conservative Christians celebrate or excuse recklessness from Tyler Rittenhouse to the McCloskeys to open AR carrying protesters. This is not the way to exercise gun rights, my Sunday essay. That brings me to American gun rights and to Kyle Rittenhouse, the young man who killed two people and wounded one during a series of encounters with protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Let me be clear, I'm not going to use this newsletter to adjudicate his case. The investigation is ongoing and there is both evidence that he acted in self-defense during the fatal encounters 
and evidence he threatened at least one innocent individual prior to the encounters by pointing his weapon at him without justification. There is still much we don't know. But here are some things we do know. By arming himself and wading into a riot, Rittenhouse behaved irresponsibly and recklessly. Further on, moreover, when Christians celebrate or even merely rationalize his actions, they are also behaving irresponsibly and recklessly. Even if Rittenhouse is legally vindicated, his decision to exercise a right resulted in a grave wrong. And this is the benefit to legalese of sucking and blowing at the same time, saying A and not A at the same time. Had Kyle Rittenhouse been convicted, well, you know David A. French would go back to that article to say, look, I told you he committed a grave wrong. So when David A. French comes out now after the acquittal and says the media got it wrong, but it was clear to everybody at the time that Kyle Rittenhouse had a strong self-defense claim, I am reading your words at the time, David A. French. You contributed to the misunderstanding. And to quote my buddy and fellow YouTube lawyer Nate Brody in one of his tweets in response to one of my tweets, they caught. So that is it. We have lived through a concrete example of gaslighting the media literally telling us one thing for the last 14 months and when the verdict comes and it is totally contrary to what they've been telling us for the last 14 months, they go out and pretend they were always telling us the opposite for the last 14 months. The reality is that mainstream media is no longer about informing people if it ever was in the first place. It is about misinforming people. It is about promoting narratives and when they get caught with their pants down, they have to pretend that they were always walking with their pants down. What? The reality is that in order to get accurate information and correct understanding, you need to go to alternative sources and you need to pick and select them carefully, which is why we are so fortunate in the YouTube lawverse to have so many lawyers to choose from. But that is it. We have all been gaslit and we are now becoming very, very aware of the fact that the media is gaslighting us. And with that said, if you like my videos, you like my content, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and drop a comment in the comment section below because it feeds the algorithm. What? What the f If you want to support the channel, all of the support links are in the pinned comment. Robert Barnes and I do weekly streams every Sunday. We do weekly streams with a guest every Wednesday called The Sidebar. If you want to find us and support us on Locals, where supporters get lots of exclusive content, you can find us at BeavaBarnesLaw.Locals.com All of my content is also on Rumble, which has now merged with Locals, and you can actually find an avatar on my Rumble page, which will link you directly to our Locals community if you are so inclined. But more important than anything, take care of yourselves, check in on friends and family, make sure everyone around you is doing well, and now you know your vlog. Peace out. Oh, yeah.